hello and welcome back to my youtube channel so today's topic is to create a position in workday so before starting the procedure i would like to know uh, to tell you what is the importance of workday what is the position in workday so what is position in workday it is a you know position that define a unique job within your organization that describe job responsibility requirement and any specific function position plays a crucial role in streamlining your organization structure and it makes easier to manage role assigning the task uh, tracking the performance you know? so for all those things position is very important in workday so let's just start so to create position in workday uh, you just have to log in into your workday account and in search bar you can type create position so we are creating a task so we'll search a task here we'll click on this create position task <coughs> here we will add the organization name where we want to create a position creation creating position that means creating the empty vacancy into the organization or department or any project or in any team so we will add some name of the organization I have created earlier uh, organization called training and development so here I am going to create a position here I am going to create a position for HCM workday trainer we will create two positions we will add uh, availability date availability date means from which date this position will be available so I will take today's date earliest hire date how early you can hire somebody into that position so I will also again take today's date what will be the job profile for this position so I will just check if there is any trainer so I, the job profile will be trainer specialist so you can see once we add the training specialist we got all the job descriptions and everything so location let's say location is USA USA home office you can add any other location what is the time type is that position is the full time or the part time so we are creating a full time position here after that worker type it is that position for the full time worker or contract worker or the contingent worker so this position is for the full time employee and do we have any subtype we can add subtype uh, as a casual employee or a regular employee for the full time worker uh, location wise we have a default uh, hour, uh, weekly hours here and this job is difficult to find in here we can add some qualification so qualification is also there you can see uh, it was linked to the work day trainer profile so link and skills whatever skills is required for this education is BA if we need any language and everything that also we can add so for you from here you can click and add the language so let's say we will add one language here English is required we will add ability let's see overall and advanced ok so we can add certificate work experience so let's see for this position we need some experience let's check do we have any five years of experience so we can create five years experience experience is also here and we have had all the other responsibilities 
once everything you fill you will recheck all the information whatever you have add and you will submit the information once it is submit that task will have to check check the pop up so <coughs> these pop ups are the next step of creating the position so we'll check the pop up first we will reassign this to logan mcneil because we are using his profile and we'll click ok so now position is created to check if your position is created or not you will just find out that position into your organization so organization we will check organization 2024 training and development department USA so you will find out this positions into the staffing model so if you see we have a two position is here workday create workday HCM trainer okay so this is how you can create a position into workday so that's it for today guys uh, next time we will come up with the next video and the next topic of the workday thank you